This is a video of both the inside and the outside of a bird box that this titmouse couple uh, is building a nest in. And here's a couple of wrens that were also shopping around the nest, but they didn't get it, they were too late. Uh, so the titmouse uh, took over and here's a little bit of from the outside and a little bit of slow motion of, of mama flying in with some nest building materials there. And she comes on in and, and starts building here on March 12th of 2021. That was yesterday. And that's her and she's bringing in some moss. Uh, in fact, she's gonna bring in a lot of moss uh, that she's harvesting off of the ground. We're in central Texas here where it gets really dry and really hot. And frankly, even to me, where I've lived here all my life, it's surprising that there is moss growing out on the ground in our yard uh, where the, the birds can go harvest it if they want it for a nest building material, which these guys clearly do. Uh, this titmouse is building this nest, at least initially, completely out of moss. Now, I'm sure that she'll probably add other stuff. Uh, there's a little slow motion shot of her leaving to go get some more moss. Here she is sort of flittering around and kind of testing the, the nest and seeing where she thinks she wants the nest cup to actually eventually be. And we've got a couple of nice shots here of her uh, kind of plowing around at the uh, nest material there and, and, and a nice little portrait here of her just sort of posing for us, frankly, I think is what she was doing. Bringing in a little bit more moss and some giant balls of it and Interestingly, the male of this pair, he's always there. He's always nearby. He kind of accompanies her or escorts her out to the, the little moss, moss harvesting uh, site. And he, he'll perch up on a branch and maybe keep watch out. And maybe, I don't know if he's coaching her on, hey, take this piece instead of that piece or, or what. Uh, but he's not doing anything that seems terribly productive because uh, she's the one who's going out and getting stuff. And uh, we're going to see a little bit more of this slow motion flight here, uh, which I'll have to confess, I've become somewhat addicted to watching the birds fly in slow motion, uh, especially when they're doing some of these acrobatics, which the titmouse was doing here in terms of doing some tight cornering and, and flying with giant blobs of moss in front of her to where she can't even see. Uh, and then landing there basically with her eyes closed, it seems like. But mainly I've become intrigued just by the beautiful patterns of the feathers as they spread their wings and, and do these uh, really athletic maneuvers here. Uh, some of them seem almost impossible that they can do these tight turns and occasionally some hovering maneuvers. There's also been one chickadee bird, different species, who's come in and tried to interfere a little bit with the nest building. And it's, it's a real hoverer in terms of getting outside the nest there and kind of uh, hovering and looking in and, and uh, that kind of thing. It's, it's really beautiful to, uh, to see it here. In this clip, you can, coming up here, you can see the sort of dipping down, flying up uh, pattern of their flight. And then in one last segment here, we get to see her make a nice approach, coming in slow, and then lands truly with a perfect 10 of a landing. 